What up, YouTube? This is Getty Video back at you with another video. I want to give a double salute to all of my supporters and anyone watching this video right now. And if you're new here, please like, comment, subscribe, and join the Getty Gang. Why don't you let's get to the content? Okay, man, I'm pretty sure we all are familiar by now with the issue that took place between Ray J and Diddy's sons, man. They ran up on a man eight deep because Ray J said some disparaging things about Diddy during an interview. Obviously, he was being funny and kind of being tongue-in-cheek, but they took it personal because of everything that Diddy is going through, man. Looked like some beef was about to spark off. Wack 100 said, hey, the homies is going to be looking for the Diddy sons. It ain't safe no more in the city. They might need to relocate. And it seems like Ray J then reached out to the people, and then Diddy's people done reached out to Wack 100, and it looks like all is well, man. The beef is squashed. Ray J calls for peace, and Wack 100 says it's all love. It is interesting. I'm going to let y'all get to it. Shout out to Wack 100. Shout out to the Exposers. This is Getty Radio. Let's go. Listen, Yo. Wack, stand down. Stand Listen. down like Justin and Christian is my, they, they, they young. Stop it, brother. Like, don't do that. I mean, listen, I, when I hear somebody trying to rush one of my loved ones, you know how that go. And then the homies heard it, so you know how it go. But I never called you, though. I never, you know, when I feel like some shit really active, I'm going to hit you and say, yo, I don't feel safe. Yeah, I never but I kept you. hearing it. So I'm like. But but they, they, they going through a lot. They good niggas. Like, they defending they pops. They heard me saying a bunch of stuff. And they got every right to, even though they, even though they shouldn't resort to that kind of stuff they can't like they, we can't do that to them man i i, so what, I, I, I ate that wait wait I what what, what, what were they mad at that. that you said whatever it was it was a misunderstanding because we talked and so when i said shit like ass is being taken or i can't turn cheek to cheek that's because i feel like niggas is fabricating a bunch of stories out there about what they I'm saying, like, why I, would but look but right why would they take that personal why would they take personal asses are being taken and you can't turn why would they take that like when i hear that it, it don't affect me why would that why would they yeah, take because, that but because you're from the west coast though and, and from the west coast niggas getting manipulated like that and because manhood getting taken it was a was a common thing in the night no but, but why did they take it personal i don't know but can you confirm that asses is being taken was a common thing in the 90s it's still a common thing right now on them on them yards and in that county saw, jail, that's a fact. Yeah, they saw the Pulp Fiction movie with Ving Rhames downstairs. That should be happening but, in L.A. But what, I, what I'm saying is, it, did they take that personal because they thought you would refer to their dad? Nah, the, like Justin is it? Like I respect them because they say ride or die. I'm gonna go for my dad or my mom, no matter what. Even if I gotta take an L, right? So he told me to go outside and take a fade first time. He wanted to fight me. I'm like, bro, God bless well, you, bro. It's not even like that. Like I never told nobody this because I don't want to do that because. I understood what he was going through, so all this shit got 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 blown so, out. So let me ask you a question, because I know you know better. You you gonna squabble when it's time to squabble. Did you not want to fight him because of who he was? Nah, bro. I'm 43. They like 30. They like 28. I get the sign. That's not okay. And plus, that nigga might know jujitsu. That nigga <laughs> might know taekwondo. I don't know. Shit, I've been working. I ain't playing with niggas, and they niggas ain't playing with me. Let's just go home, work hard. Let's all get together and talk it through. Because we all shouldn't try to create bodily harm to people. It's just not okay for somebody to hurt somebody physically. It just takes somebody to the next level. And we should all preach about like getting together. We need to create mentor program shifts now for niggas that's making money now. How do I have to fall, fall off, right? Because yeah, we, we ain't all doing all that. This ain't the Nicki Minaj show. This ain't Nicki Minaj show. Bro, you know, when we pulled up in the thing. lobby of the uh, Fountain Blue, we pulled Hold up on. as homies. So don't home. get angry. You know, I've been around a long time. Nah, don't right, get me started. Nah, even on Nicki Minaj, Nicki didn't want to talk positive. I'm trying to talk positive. Like, why Nicki, don't want to talk listen, positive? I'm, I'm saying, positive. I, you and Nicki Minaj, we've known each other for quite a long time. I'm a bard. I'm a bard. What? You a bard, huh? Yeah, I, bar. I, that's what you want to call it. Ray, I'm you remember bar. that time in the lobby of the Fountain Blue? Remember when we, and you dis. Nah, blood, I don't know. I, I, all that shit that happened, I don't remember none of that. Oh, okay. I, I, like, right. I went to the hospital and then I stopped remembering a lot of stuff. <laughs> okay. Man. Listen, we're going to move past. <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I don't know what it was. 
Hey, you got to remember, Wack been around a long, it's been 20 years, right? Wack, Wack, I don't know who I was. All I know is who I am, dog. It's been 20 years we've been rocking and we met 23. Wack, you, can you let, look, can you put online right now that, hey, like, we standing down from all this crazy shit. You a positive person. You a good person. You don't do violent things. You're, you're nothing but professional. Cass Jones is one of the most professional people I ever met. And now we don't resort to violence. Justin Combs, Christian, and Quincy are good people. And we pray for them and pray for me. We all had a little bit of a problem and we worked it out. Shout out to Nicki Minaj. She changed my name to Raja. We got a new album coming out together. And that's it, blood. Raja. Tell him. Listen, man, this nigga, listen, he don't want me to get started on him and Nicki Minaj. I'm going to leave it alone. No, no. Shout out, shout out to shout Mrs. Out to, um, hold on, hold on, blood. Stop, blood. Shout out to Mr. and Mrs. Petty. Like she married, yeah, Mrs. I'm Petty. married, I'm getting a divorce. I'm two, I'm, two, I'm two days away from getting a divorce. I'm happy, princess happy. Life is good, blood, like please, let's just stop it. So like are right you really now, gonna blood, go through help. with the divorce this time? I'm going through, I love princess, it's over. I need WAC 100 to say, listen, there's no problems in the streets. You know we got cases out there, dog, that we just beat, and we need to just- Yeah, kill, we dog. got a like, Rico, don't rain. Them niggas found out about our Rico, bro, okay? They found out about our Rico. Now, you remember, listen, you remember the deal. I told you, let nephew come do the camera shit. You said, whack, do the special needs. Hold on, bro. You said, do the special needs. I want to get back, let him, let him, let him shoot the, the, the scooty bike. I said, if anything weird come up, it's on you. Downtown, I was washing feet in downtown blood. I was washing a gang of homeless people feet. Yeah, but still though, you should have let loyal, you should have let loyal just did the shoot. He do all our shoots. You let this little kid, this dude in. We paid him like a thousand dollars to do a few pictures, whatever it was. And later on, this dude went crazy and, and filed, first he filed a state civil. That didn't work. Then he filed a federal civil RICO. Now, I wasn't tripping because my deal with you was, if you don't go with my guy, lawyer, right? Famous, the famous unknown, it's on you. So you have to pay the, the, the legal bills. Legal just got back to you. You heard from legal lately? Because I ain't paid no mind because the legal on you on this one. Yeah, I heard from legal lately. That's what I'm saying. Let's just chill. Can you what did legal please tell practice. you about the RICO? Oh. <laughs> Look, please practice peace on here right now. Yo, okay, but what did legal tell you about the Rico, Ray J? J, it's saying to whack 100, Cash Jones, please practice peace on here right now. I'm asking you, I'm trying Christmas. to get an update for the world about this civil Rico because you obligated to pay for it. I told you, if you went with him, it would ever come from it is on you. What What is legal? You heard from Thomas? Whack 100, this is not okay. Are you going to answer the question this or not? No, and it's not okay. Things are being huh? taken from people. People, are, people are being manipulated from the bottom up, bro. People are being bro, manipulated from the bottom you, up. Bro. I'm trying to get an update on this damn civil Rico. These people keep hollering about. Like look, they got I know people going through a bunch of stuff. The homies used to stick a whole stick of butter in, in, in people's asses, bro. Park that be sure not. Shit, sure bro. not used to do that. Butter. Nigga, what? Parquet butter, a whole and brick. It's okay. and it's the not ladies okay. will come down. Yo, right. Hey, right. Remember when we was at the death row office? The lady comes down, right? She says, Whack. You well, sick fuck. She says, You sick fuck. And you tried to use parquet butter on my ass. Whack. I got it in the end of the <laughs> nah, he was a different freak was, freak. Yo. Yeah, I don't know what, 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 what do that one. This interview was not okay with my consent. This is not cool. We're not putting this up. That's it. Interview going up. This one? This interview is going up. Clear. We live. We're not doing it. Here. So look, back to the drama. Oh, let me bring, let me bring you up to speed. I got a call from the homie Tika Pong from Blackstone. Tika Pong been over there with um, Puff 30 years. Uh, he also covered for um, Faith Evans. He the homie from Blackstone. If I show you a picture, I'll be mobbed. 600, you gonna know him. He's like, he a Muslim homie, but he from BPS, for the jumpers. So he called me, he said, Wack, listen, I understand what's going on. These kids ain't gang members. 
They wasn't raised to be. I don't know why they out here doing what they doing. He said, I'm hearing things, but I'm calling you because we've been homies a long time, right? And um, I'm asking you, can we let this go? I understand you feel like they tried to rush the homie, but I'm telling you that I think that's being like blew out of proportion. I'm like, hey, just tried to rush my homeboy, bro. Tika Pong said, I assure you it wasn't that. Huh? Justin you ain't no little kids. Nigga's 30 years old, ain't no little kids. Hey, 30? Hell yeah, 26, 28, 30, nigga, yeah. What you mean? Nah, black, them niggas are 22 years old, blood. Nah, one of them like 28. Regardless, nah. I don't give a f they're 18, right? But nevertheless, yeah. uh, me and Tika Pong talk, and he said, whack, I can assure you that Ray J will not be approached anymore by him. You give me your word that you gonna stop tripping. So I gave the homie my word. He he a G homie, and uh, he's supposed to pop up, but he not really social media. So did you and Justin get an understanding? Wack is a good person. He's an honorable person. Don't know. Probably can't hear you. Hey, don't air this, blood. It's already up. Live. We live, homie. Huh? We live. This is what I said. When I told you not to f the broad, and when I told you not to crash the car, when I told you not. To do all that you, do. Like, you, got, you threw one hundred eighty thousand dollars out at the yacht talking about a video talking about tell somebody go get it they don't tell me what not to do because you do a whole bunch of crazy shit, bro you got me in a civil oh, rico some bozos over here thinking i'm going to jail these niggas is weird what's wrong nah, it's all love it's peace shout out to the cones it's, it's love all right, we're going to leave it right there. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this audio, man. Wack 100 speaking on the Diddy Sons with Ray J once again, man. And it looks like all is well, man. I got to say, man, Ray J's a good dude, man, because he really could have clicked it on. He really could have took things a little personal with, um, he said, allegedly one of Diddy Sons challenged him to a fade and then they pressed him and it was a shove and match back and forth according to a young lady that was there that witnessed it i think it was an instagram video that came out of a witness speaking on the situation i think she was a famous person but obviously there was an issue that took place and it was serious enough for whack 100 to get on and say hey he's gonna click it on with them and it was serious enough for the people on diddy's side to reach out to whack 100 side and say hey man they didn't mean anything they're not gangsters i don't know why they're acting that way and this may be a way of them expressing because they're just hurt, right? They're going through a lot and they feel like a lot of their industry friends and industry people that know their father, that been around their father for quite some time, been at the parties, et cetera, et cetera, should be speaking up for Diddy instead of saying disparaging things. Even though Ray J was being tongue in cheek, they looked at that as a step too far, right? That's a little too much. You shouldn't have been doing that. You shouldn't say anything about Diddy. If you're gonna say anything about their father, say something, you know, encouraging, say something positive. Don't clown our father. And they took that very personal, but it could have went really bad man if ray j was the type of person that would say hey man let's click it on let's line these dudes up y'all already know man how pin drops work these folks out there in california man when they click it on they really click it on man you understand what i'm saying just think about the dirk situation you got somebody out there in la giving quando rondo's location to the shooters man you understand what i'm saying to dirk's shooters man lining him up just imagine if it was clicked on with them you think somebody wouldn't have been lining him up Right? You think somebody wouldn't be trying to line them up just to get a bag or check or just for clout or just to see some action go down out there in the city. You already know, man. California is one of the places that you can get lined up really quick, man. Y'all already know Wack 100 and Loose Cannon has already exposed that a lot of the rappers that think they're under the banner of an OG out there actually got lined up by the OG in order for the OG to pull them under their umbrella. It was all a play to make it look like the OG came out of nowhere and saved them when the OG set them up the entire time, man. Really grimy place, so you don't really want to be beefing out there like that, especially when your father, who's the head of your household, like Diddy, is incarcerated and, you know, unavailable, right? Emotionally, physically, and even financially, I would guess at this point, right? Diddy got to spend a lot of money, so he's not really available to protect them. He's not really available to be, you know, the one that's going to step in the gap for his children, right? So they're vulnerable, and they don't need to be out here beefing so i will give credit to ray j man for saying hey why squash this stuff man we don't need this man we don't need this at all i gotta give respect to that right there man and white 100 you know gotta give him credit too even though he was ready to click it on 
Y'all already know, man. Wack be ready to turn up at any turn of a dime. You understand what I'm saying? Him and Loose Cannon, they be ready to go. But they was willing to squash it as well. So we got to give credit to both sides, man. Listen, they had an emotional moment. Their father's going through it. They shouldn't be held accountable for that. Nobody got hurt. Nobody got beat up. Ray J didn't get hands put on him. He didn't get stumped out. He didn't get shot at or anything like that. But they were about to teach them boys a valuable lesson. Or it was probably about to be an internal war going on between both sides of LA. You understand what I'm saying? Because uh, you already know Diddy got some LA folks on his payroll. You already know Diddy got some LA folks at security, some OGs and things like that. That's just how celebrities roll on the black side of things. So it probably would have been bad out there, man. So I'm glad it didn't click on. You understand what I'm saying? How do you guys feel about this, man? Are you glad it didn't click on? We got to get Ray J his flowers, man. How do you feel about this whole thing, man? Just let me know in the comment section how y'all feel, man. This has been Getty Radio. I appreciate you being here. Please like, comment, subscribe. I will catch you guys on the flip side. Peace.